Hello, Jim Howard here in Fort Worth, Texas. Today's date, it is uh, July 2nd of 2019. I just received this uh, five and a half gallon tank from Amazon. And uh, the price is right. It's a good price. Uh... I've never, this is my first one of these to purchase, hopefully be the last one. Uh, it comes with the hood here. I like this that it, you know, this raises up. Uh, the 20 gallon that you see behind me, uh, that hood on that one, I have to pick it up and move it over. Be careful it doesn't fall in, you know, into the water. But this one here will raise up all the way this of course has led lights inside and it has a cover over it, a plastic cover over those to uh, you know prevent the condensation and or splashing of water to get up in that so that's good has a switch here uh, for going through a bunch of different cycles of lighting uh, so i'm not sure if if it's always going to start up, you know, in the in the daylight or the regular light, or if it will start up in the, I'll find that out here later on, in the, uh, you know, the last mode that you were in or something. So there is a switch. Uh, like I said, the uh, good thing about this is the price. Uh, this is plastic or I guess plastic plex I don't know I'm not sure what the difference is between you know it's plastic uh, on a tank like this that you know right here if you're if a fish comes up and they're right in there or if you're looking through this this area right here you're going to get a little bit of distortion um, I was thinking that this came, well, it doesn't show it, will I? I thought it was going to come with some kind of a base that it set down, but that's fine. Um, there is, you know, the knockouts up here on top for, if you have a, uh, which this comes with a very, let me show you that. I have it here, but I haven't. Let's go down here. Here's your LED lights with that shield over it. Here's the filter, <laughs> very small filter, but it has to be, you know, for this. And I'm sure the filter will move the water pretty good, even though it's, you know, even though it has a very small slot here for a uh, cartridge to go in there. Let's see. Here you see the, the filter with the cartridge sticking up and the power supply for that. There's also, of course, a power supply for the um, for the light to plug in. So does not come with a heater, but of course you can purchase a heater. And there's a knockout on here for putting the heater in if you want to. Um, so it's like I said, I think it's a uh, I think it's a good price for it. But I really would have preferred, say, a regular 10-gallon tank. Because if this one, well, not if, when this hood breaks, the LED, I think the LED light, those could be, uh, yeah, you could buy some type of a uh, replacement for the LED lights. You can even buy, I mean, not made for this, but you can even buy light that will go down underneath the water, you know, in the water. So that's okay, but... Uh, say your switch breaks or something breaks, you're not going to be able to, to uh, buy a replacement hood for this. Uh, probably if you if they did sell a replacement hood, it'd probably be about the cost of the uh, of the tank. So probably it'd be better if you know to get a standard 10 gallon say you're going to get a to get a five gallon or a 10 gallon because any place you can go and you can buy 
you know, replacement hoods for them, for those, and all types of stuff. So this, if you break this or have a problem, then you're going to have to figure something out, you know, to do. Because you're not going to get a replacement for this. Other than that, you know, you can replace the a filter with a different kind of a filter. In fact, I'm going to, I will run the filter that comes with this. And hopefully you'll see that here in a little bit. Um, but I'm also going to put, and then I will eventually, I'm going to put a sponge filter in here. I've got a sponge filter that's kind of designed for a five-gallon tank that's been running in my 20-gallon tank. And I'm going to move that one to this tank. It will... Uh, because I already have another sponge filter in that tank. And so I'll be moving that sponge filter to this tank. Um, so you get the five and a half or the six and a half gallon. You get the LED, you get the hood LED lights. And you get a, a little filter that goes on the back of it. So I also ordered in. And I have one of these that I purchased before identical. But since the tanks are in different locations, going to be in different locations, I ordered another one of these in. I think it was like $13 or something. Um, I also ordered in 20 pounds. Let me uh, bring that up. Here we go. Here's the filter, by the way. I'll try to remember to put... Like I said, I bought one of these before has two air outlets on it. Uh, let me go to uh, tracking. Okay. I purchased this because I really wanted to get this for my 20 gallon tank, but I didn't. So you can see I paid, this is $20 for this soil and almost, you know, almost the price of all of this. Um, but it's supposed to be really, really good for plants. And so I'm going to put quite a bit of that in. Usually you do one pound of gravel or soil for, you know, uh, one pound for one gallon. So that would be, you know, six and a half pounds. That's 20 pounds. I'm going to probably put more because I want to make sure my plants are uh, have good soil. For that uh, and then what I'm gonna try to do which will probably be a mess over on my 20 gallon tank I want to put some of this soil and the tank is already set up but maybe over in one side I can uh, you know get the soil in there some way without messing everything up I'm going to move you know first I'm going to condition the water and then tomorrow well, I'm going to condition the water and uh, Add the plants, add some plants today, and I'm taking plants away from that 20-gallon tank, some of them, and putting them in here. And uh, what else? I'm not sure. Oh, I'm, eventually I have four snails in the other tank, and uh, I'm not sure how many I'm going to, you know, I'll bring over at least one. Not sure about that. Um I think I may bring over one placostomus. One of the pl uh, one of the two placostomuses when it comes to feeding kind of, you know, bullies the other one away, so and I love placostomus and love one in each one of my tanks and so I only have this one tank but back in the late 60s, yeah, late 60s, my wife and I we had a tropical fish shop. Uh, in Kansas City, Missouri. So I'm going to, don't touch the mouse, I'm going to stop this and start working on setting this up and then I'll update you a little bit on what's going on in just a second. So don't touch the mouse. You have been warned. Okay, here is the six and a half gallon tank. It's set up been set up for a few hours. I uh, have not put any fish in it yet. I have put some plants in it. 
I think you can see uh, the edge there where you uh, you get the optics get changed a little bit. Got the sponge filter in it, and I have an air stone in it. Let's raise up the hood here so you can. See, we can see this way. That's kind of dark down there. Let's put this down. Let's see if I can hit the uh, light switch here. Okay. That's one color. That might be like night, you know. There's another. There's another. That's three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. You know that one it must be going through going through color. Going through colors on this let's see, is it now? We go, let's see. Okay, off. The next one should be, you know, the where we go, the normal one. It's not real bright, but I guess it shouldn't be for, you know, get a real algae problem with uh, being too bright. Anyway, that's it. Uh, like I said, not a bad tank. Um, I think probably the best bet I would recommend to you would be, you know, purchase a. Uh, standard 10 gallon tank or a 5 gallon tank and uh, then you can get hoods for it and stuff like that that that, uh, that fit and you can get you know a 10 gallon aquarium stand or whatever also I'm sure you know you know the larger amount of water that you have the better uh, a 5 gallon tank like this is a 6.5 there's more fluctuation uh, it's harder really to control uh, when you have a larger amount of, you know, it gives you a little bit of uh, leeway, a little bit of uh, cushion or a pad. So anyway, I, I recommend this. I'll put a link to it. I'll put a link to the soil that I used and I recommend it. But uh, Petco, by the way, here in the United States, they have tank sales that I guess they have like a standard is like a dollar a gallon so you can get a 10 gallon tank for you know ten dollars and 20 gallon tank for twenty dollars I don't know how far up they go in the tank size but that might be the best way to go now I couldn't uh, Petco does not deliver at least not here in Dallas Fort Worth do not deliver tanks you have to go to the store and pick them up so I went ahead and ordered this in from Amazon I order a lot of stuff from Amazon. Please use my Amazon link, by the way, down below, because when you order something, I'll get a little uh, commission. And uh, that'll help me to purchase other stuff. I'll probably add another video, you know, a different uh, video later on, and I'll show you when this tank is set up. And I'll fill you in from time to time about how it's uh, doing. And uh, thank you very much for watching.